Hello everyone, in this session we will discuss the trial balance, a vital tool in the accounting process. The trial balance serves as a checkpoint to make sure that your books are balanced. Total debits equaling total credits. It balances. In this video, we will explain how to prepare a trial balance, discuss its importance in detecting errors, and highlighting its role in preparing financial statements. Matter of fact, we're gonna go ahead, take the trial balance that we will prepare today and prepare financial statements. We will use the figures from the prior session to prepare a trial balance. Then we'll go to the next step, take the figures from the trial balance and prepare financial statements. Let's go ahead and dive into the trial balance. So let's start where we left off in the prior session and that is the ending balances for each account. The assets, liabilities, common stock, dividend, revenues, and expenses. What we will do next after we arrive to the ending balances for each transaction, what we're supposed to do is to prepare something called the trial balance from those ending balances. So what is a trial balance? The trial balance is a list of all the accounts with their ending balances, with their ending normal balances. For example, cash, 13,532 debit balance, account receivable, zero, supplies, 7,300 debit balance, so on and so forth. So the trial balance, the first thing it does, it balances. It means total debits equal total credits. Now is the trial balance prepared haphazardly? Not at all. We have the assets are listed first, then the liabilities, then common stock, then dividend, then revenues, then expenses. So it's not prepared haphazardly. There's a format, assets, liabilities, common stock, dividend, revenues, and at the end are expenses. The trial balance is not a financial statement because the trial balance shows you the debit balances and the credit balances for each account and they're supposed to do what? Balance. That's the definition of a trial balance. Now how to search for errors if the trial balance does not balance? Now in the real world, if you're using a software, most software, they don't allow you to input a transaction that's the debits are not equal to the credits. So if all transaction debits equal to credits, the trial balance will equal. But let's assume you're still using a manual system or the computer system does not, does not have this internal control. Well, ensure the trial balance column are accurately totaled. Well, make sure you add them up properly. That's the first thing. Often we use Excel. Make sure that the account balance are accurately entered from the ledger. So this could be a problem. Uh, this could be a problem and it means in the real world where you are entering manually the numbers from the general ledger to the trial balance and there's, there's a chance where you could have made an error here. For example, you're using software X, but the trial balance you're using software Y. Therefore, you what you do is you take the ending balances and you put them in the other software. So that, that could have an error. Verify that debits and credits account are correctly placed on the trial balance and not mistakenly swapped. So making sure, so for example, this is a credit balance is not placed under the debit column. Again, software properly programmed, that should not be an issue. But if you are using Excel or you're entering things manually, that could happen. Well, recompute each account balance in the ledger to make sure it's accurate. Go back and review each account separately. And this is time consuming if you want to go back and review the balances in the ledger, but you might have to do that. Verify to the journal, go back to the journal entry and make sure the journal entries are posted properly. Make sure that each original entry has equal debits, equal credits. As I told you, this is solved if the software has that capability. Now, after we prepare the trial balance, and this is really where we prepare the financial statement from. Okay, so the trial balance is not a financial statement, but the trial balance is the place where we prepare the financial statements. Now I'm going to use a term. It may not make any sense to you now, but this is the unadjusted trial balance. What does it mean unadjusted? It means we are going to prepare an adjusted trial balance, but don't worry about this. Now we're going to take the 
adjust the unadjusted trial balance and prepare the income statement, the statement of retained earnings, and the balance sheet. And we should be familiar with those financial statements from the prior recording where we prepare the financial statements. First, we look at the income statement, the name of the company, the name of the statement, the period. First, we list the, list the revenues, total them. We list the expenses, total them. Revenues minus expenses equal to net income. And that's the income statement that's going to show us the profitability of the company for the year ended X5. Then we would look at the statement of retained earnings. Same headings except the statement of retained earnings. The beginning retained earnings is zero. This is a new company. We bring net income from the income statement. We deduct the dividend, the $500 dividend, and the ending balance is 4082 So if we are looking at the trial balance, if you are preparing this uh, for a homework or an exam, what you would do, you would say, okay, I used up my revenues, I used up my expenses, and I just used up my dividend. What's left are assets, liabilities, and equity. And now I am ready to prepare the balance sheet, which is as of a point in time, as of December 31st, assets on one side, cash, supplies, prepaid equipment, 50342 Liabilities, we have two liabilities, totaling 6350 Common stock is 40000 And retained earnings is, is from the statement of retained earnings. Always total assets equal to liabilities plus equity. What should you do now? You want to go to Farhat Lectures, look at additional resources, MCQs, true false, additional lectures. That's going to help you what? Prepare for your exam better. Do better in your classes. Invest in yourself. Good luck. Study hard. And of course, stay safe.